Will I ever stop craving unhealthy foods or foods that I'm used to eating? Okay. And more importantly, you know, if I do, am I allowed to have a cheat day every once in a while? What do you think about that? Yeah, I know we're, we're not big fans of cheat days here, Cyrus. Yeah, why? <laughs> I, I've heard you talk about that a lot. I know you have a strong opinion on this one. But, uh, and I agree. Um, you know, the bottom line is, just like Cyrus said, when you find an approach that is sustainable, you naturally love it. Like you don't want to get away from things that you love that make you feel good. And your taste buds absolutely do change. And I personally, I crave things like arugula. Like I really, I get excited to have some arugula. Um, I think for most people, the most challenging part will be that you might still crave high fat plant-based foods. You know, you might still crave more avocado than you know is good for your weight loss goals. You might crave more nuts and seeds, you know, are good for your weight loss goals. That can be challenging, but Things like the people who, you know, oftentimes come into our program in the beginning, it's like, oh, I can't get away from the McDonald's drive through Like, it just keeps calling me. That can genuinely go away. Like, you get to a point where you're like, no way in heck will I ever consume that stuff again. Like, I do not see that as food at all. And you completely get away from that. So that's absolutely possible. And setting goals, putting yourself in the right environment, having accountability is what helps you reach your goals and helps you remind yourself in that moment that whatever is in front of you that you know is not going to help you reach your goals is, is not as, it's not as uh, valuable as actually reaching your goals. And you, your mindset starts to shift. And that's the benefit of, you know, again, being a part of our community. Yeah, I, you, you hit it on the head, actually, because when people ask me all the time, they're like, come on, man, can I just have a cheat day? Can I just go eat that ice cream? Can I have some cookies or maybe a brownie? Like, I really love it. I just, I, I've been such a good guy. I've been such a good girl for the last week. I just want to have one meal. And my answer to them is always like, listen, you could absolutely cheat, but I'd rather you cheat on food that you not only enjoy eating, but food that's actually green light. Okay. Mm -hmm. So as an example, if you love ice cream, right? Don't go to Baskin Robbins and get ice cream. Don't go to the grocery store and get a bunch of dairy ice cream. Make what's called nice cream in your house. You can take bananas and put them in the freezer, and then you can blend them, and it turns into unbelievably tasty ice cream. You can then take that, and you can add some cocoa powder to it, and then it turns into chocolate ice cream. You can then blend that with a little bit of cherries, and then it becomes a cherry chocolate ice cream. You can do all types of uh, inventive whole food creations and that mimic comfort foods that you have eaten likely your whole life. And if you fall in love with that process of making these types of substitutions, then when you go to quote unquote cheat, you're actually getting healthier, right? So there, what I would say is when I first transitioned to eating a whole food plant-based diet, um, the, the gentleman that helped me out, his name was Dr. Doug Graham. And he and I had this joke, and I think he's told us a lot of people, he says, he goes, you know what? I have a cheat day every single day. In fact, I have a cheat day every single meal because I eat the foods that I love and uh, these foods are actually healthy for me. So yeah, great. I eat dessert for breakfast every single day and I've been doing that every day for the last 40 years, right? So if you can kind of reframe it and say, all right, well, how do I genuinely become healthier while eating foods that I enjoy? The Venn diagram of foods which I'm supposed to eat and foods which I enjoy eating become the same and then all of a sudden before you know it, now – you're cheating every single meal and you're actually getting healthier. Exactly right. I mean, I genuinely feel that way, Cyrus, like 100%. And I definitely, I, you know, personally spend the time to find the best produce, invest in the best produce. And when you do that, it literally tastes like dessert. It's, it's pretty special. No doubt. It's absolutely true. This video was just a snippet of a much more in-depth discussion. Click on the link on the screen to check out the full length episode. Now, the science behind health is overly complicated, unfortunately, but getting healthy doesn't have to be. Visit masteringdiabetes.org start. Answer some questions about yourself and schedule a free consultation to talk with somebody on our team who's going to show you exactly how we've transformed the lives of thousands of people using the Mastering Diabetes Method. We have a limited number of spots available, and that's why it's imperative to find a good fit. Again, visit masteringdiabetes.org start to schedule a free zero commitment discovery call and start taking control of your health today.